Refreshing stories. My name is Hiroshi. I'm the owner of It's Hotel New York, but located at the edge of New York. There are no sightseeing spots around, but our hotel restaurant is very popular. Most of our customers only come here for the food and leave without staying at the hotel. Lately, we only have reservations at the restaurant and have zero for lodging. As an owner, I'm happy, but sad. But we've always been hospitable to our customers. Mr. Hiroshi, we have many reservations for the restaurant today, too, but none for the lodging. You're right. Honestly, I want them to stay for the night, but they don't have a reason to stay here, right? Not that many tourist spots around here. You're right. I wish my ancestors built the hotel at a better place. Right! We could have had more foreign customers. I heard that the Capital City area hotels are full every day. I see. I guess we need to put up PR. But if our selling point is only the taste of a restaurant, but if our selling point is only the taste of the restaurant, we're counting on you, Mr. Hiroshi. There'll be events like the World Cup where people will come from all over the world. So we need to prepare to accommodate a lot of tourists. You're right. We need to appeal more to our fellow Americans and foreign tourists. All the staff put in more effort and did our best with hospitality. However, the result was not easy to achieve. So I extended an offer to a company to get featured in a magazine, but how is it? Is this dinner very delicious? Huh, it's ordinary. The portions are small, so it's not good at all. Really? This is our pride. We have lots of great reviews about this course meal. I'm unsatisfied. Bring me more food and alcohol. Hurry! That's fine, but you've already eaten about $200 worth of food. Are you okay with that? What? You're the one who asked me to feature your hotel in our magazine. Of course make it all free. Um, but that's... Huh? Are you going against me? I have the power to write severe criticism about this hotel. Please don't do that! Then don't go against me. Hurry and bring the food and alcohol. Yes. This is the president of the Post-it Publishing Company, Mr. Eero Iamite. The Post-it Publishing Company publishes several fashion magazines, as well as gourmet and travel information magazines. It's one of the top publishing companies in the country, and rumors say that the hotels featured in the magazine called The Hotels gained popularity overnight. I wanted to get our hotel featured, so I asked for a favor, but... What is this? The rooms are shabby. Do you even want to be hospitable to me? But this is our suite room! So shabby. Anyway, I'm going to sleep now, so go away. But before that, when will this hotel be featured... He's already asleep? Well, I guess I should just ask him tomorrow. Good night, dear customer. Sweet dreams. The next day, just as the rumors say, the food is quite delicious. Thank you so much. Please do feature us. Well, I'll think about that later. Thank you for the meal. See you. Yes. Please take care. A month had passed, but there were no signs of our hotel being featured in the magazine. Um, um... Mr. Iamite, when will our hotel be featured? More importantly, how's your hotel next weekend? It'll be open, but you won't be that busy, right? Uh, well, it just happens that we have rooms available. I'll make a reservation for 70 guests, including accommodations. Really? We will be celebrating getting the number one spot for the most number of publications for the first half of the year. I'll bring the women from the company. We're also planning a project with international celebrities. I'm so happy. Whoa! By the way, when will our hotel be featured? Uh, well, let's discuss that next time. We'll stay there, so we'll feature you next time, okay? We'll use your hotel for our company trip. Thank you very much. We welcome you with open arms. Don't say it like that. Well then, make our hotel great again. Are you mimicking the former president? I mean, why are you addressing me formally? I'll cancel my reservation if you keep doing that. Uh, I'm sorry, I got too caught up in the moment. As a punishment for doing that, make the $700 course for food and lodging, $22,000 for 70 guests. Understood? What? 70 guests would cost $50,000! I told you, make it $22,000 as punishment. It's your own doing. I don't understand what you're saying. I mean, that's crazy. It's less than half. If you can't do it, I don't mind but I will write an article about your hotel, saying that it's unreasonable toward customers. <laughs> but that's business obstruction! You can sue me if you want. 
if you can defeat the publisher of a national magazine. That's awful! Shut up! Stop being so selfish and get it right! If you serve us badly cooked food, I will publish an article that your hotel is a scam. I understand. You should have just said that from the start. Well, I'll feature your hotel when I feel like it. So I took the reservation. Honestly, I wanted to decline, but I didn't want him to write a negative article about our hotel. Prepared to make a loss, I arranged for fine food to be served, and prepared to welcome them with the best hospitality we could muster. The day of the reservation? <laughs> Why did you take their reservation knowing we might be a deficit? Because I had no choice. I didn't want to take it. You like that? That's why this hotel doesn't become popular. The hotels in the metropolitan area are filled with tourists. Don't say that. We're fully booked despite being in the red. Because it'll be New York Fashion Week from tomorrow. It'll probably be filled with models and Hollywood stars. EA Media's company is the only group of people coming to our hotel. Well, well, it's a sacrifice for our future popularity. It's just like jumping. You need to crouch down first to jump. Please, be hospitable, just like always. Yeah, more importantly, aren't Mr. Iamira and his company late? It's already past check-in time. You're right. I'll try to call him. Hello? This is Ohira of the It's Hotel New York, but... May I speak to Mr. Iamira? This is him speaking. What do you want? Um, about your reservation stay. What time will you arrive? It's already past the check-in time, so... Ah, uh, cancel that. We won't be going to your hotel. What? What do you mean? I told you. Cancel it. Cancel our reservation. We won't go to your hotel. I mean, we can't go. Understood? No, I don't get it. Please, tell me why. Because our female staff want a hot spring with a great view instead of good food. Your hotel's only strength is good food, right? If that's the case, you could have at least contacted us to cancel. We prepared rooms and food for you. I'm sorry, but you need to pay a cancellation fee. What? What are you saying? When I made the reservation, you never mentioned anything about a cancellation fee. I wasn't informed that say day cancellation is not allowed. Well, that's right. But cancellation fees are normal. You didn't inform me about the cancellation fee. That's why I thought that it would be okay to cancel on a reserved day. It's your fault for failing to explain it to me. So I won't pay for cancellation. But that's outrageous! Then go ahead. Sue me. In return, I'll write a negative article about your hotel. If you're fine with that, then go ahead. But I'm about to go to a mixed bathing hot spring, so I'm busy. If you understand, don't contact me again. Bye. Mr. Iamide, wait! No, what should I do? Mr. Hiroshi, we're in trouble! What should we do with all this food? Oh no, if they didn't pay us, we won't be able to pay tomorrow. What? Does that mean we'll go bankrupt? I'm sorry. My father in the countryside fell ill, so I'll go home. Hey, wait! Don't leave me alone! I'll go to the bank tomorrow, so please wait! Please, stay by my side! Um, excuse me. Is anybody there? Look, there's a customer! He ain't alone after all! Ask that guy to be by your side! Yes? What can we do for you? I'm looking for a hotel where I can stay at. Actually, there was a fire at the hotel I reserved for a week at. That's why my body smells like smoke. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please, use our bath. Merci. How much would that be? You don't have to. You've been through a lot. Wow. How kind. Japanese hospitality, as they say. No, no. I can't leave alone those who need help. The rooms are all vacant, so guests are welcome. But we might go bankrupt tomorrow. So we might not be able to let you stay for a week. Huh? What do you mean? Actually, the guests who made reservations for today canceled so we don't have enough money to pay the bank. It's a difficult subject, so I don't understand it, but... Are you saying that you need guests to stay at your hotel? I guess that's the easy way to put it. Then leave it to me. Hello? This is Tabio. I found a nice hotel. Let's stay here for a week. How many people can stay? We have 70 rooms. Well then, I'll call 70 people. Uh, um, what do you mean? Oh, I'm sorry. I would like to book for 70 people for a week. They are fussy about food, so could you make it $700 per night? That's possible, but $50,000 multiplied by a week will be $350,000. No problem. I'll pay up front. What? Really? Of course. Thank you for letting us stay. They're on their way now, so thank you very much. Yes! 
the guests who stayed for a week were celebrities and artists. Thanks to their hospitality, they seemed to enjoy their stay. Wow, this tastes really good! I want to see the looks on the faces of the people who cancelled their reservation for this meal. I never want to see his face again. He's probably enjoying the hot spring with his female staff. It seems like he doesn't want to pay for cancellation. Our hotel was saved thanks to you. Could that be? The Posted Publishing's Mr. Iamite? What? How did you know? I mean, I can't say yes because that's a customer's personal information. He was bragging about bathing at the hot spring with women, so I thought, could it be? Actually, I do business with his company. So you know each other? But I can't say anything about that. I might have done something wrong on my part, too. You're defending him despite being faced with an unreasonable situation. I'm deeply moved. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm sorry for the late introduction. Let me properly introduce myself. I'm Tabio Delicio, the founder of Delicio Loren. That famous Delicio Loren? Did you happen to be in the US for the New York Fashion Week? Oui, that's right. I flew from Paris today. However, there's one more reason why I came. Our company has a contract with Posty Publishing, where we pay them $36 million for advertising fees. Whoa! That's a ton of money! The sample magazines that he sent to Paris have a lot of advertising. But I heard a rumor that the magazines sold in New York are not advertising our company. I wanted to see it with my own eyes, so I came to New York. There's a magazine of Posted Publishing here. It may not seem like it, but you're quite well informed when it comes to fashion. Ah, just as I thought. There are no advertisements about our company. So just other brands. I've been deceived. Bastard! That bastard! Monsieur Iamite! You deceived me! I checked it with my own eyes! What? How did you find out? Didn't you say that you won't come to New York? Because you'll follow me around all day and not let me go to the bookstore if I tell you I'm coming to New York! There's a profound reason for this. You were double-taking advertisement fees from other brands as well, weren't you? If you add more pages, it'll be full of ads that no one will want to read your magazine. Why is Mr. Tabio with Hiroshi? I am staying at It's Hotel New York, but the hotel that you canceled. Why are you staying there? That's not relevant. Give me back the contract money of $36 million. Please, wait. Let's discuss this. Are you dumb? You need to pay for the cancellation fee of $22,000. My company will go bankrupt. Well, well, calm down. It just peeled off like what your company name says. After that, President Iamira's wrong acts were exposed one after another. Post-it publishing became a target for the media, their popular magazines lost their place at bookstores, and their award as the number one for the most number of copies sold flaked off. Just like a post-it note that lost its adhesion. As for our hotel, thanks to the famous people who gave positive reviews about it, the restaurant is a given. And thanks to the fact that famous people stayed at our hotel, the room's value soared. We are now fully booked every day, our hotel ended up becoming a very popular hotel. My name is Hiroshi. I'm just a regular old businessman, as well as a family man. Although I don't have any kids, I'm living happily with my wife, Satomi. We're thinking about getting a child soon, so we started saving money. Sadly, we have yet to get into the saving money part. Our electricity bill is 50,000 yen? Why? I have no idea. It's too much. I can buy a PS5 every month with this money! Right? This is the main reason we have yet to save money. Every month, we had to pay a fortune for electricity for unknown reasons. We always try our best to save money by monitoring our electricity usage, but that doesn't seem to help at all. We don't even use that much! I rarely watch TV, so that can't be it. Then what's up with this bill? We're barely getting off thanks to you, but... I hate how we can't save up any money because of this. Yeah. What should we do? We have to do our best. Are you sure? That's what a losing team's coach says to motivate his team. Let me think. I'll cheer you on! The next day... Oh, is that Mr. Ugai? Hey! Watch it! I need that to make money! Oh my. This was the first time I ever met him. He's so scary. Temperature is everything for a fish! If you hurt them, you'll pay for it! Are you selling these? Shut it! You're in my way! Get out of here! What? Oh, okay. Don't ever talk to me again! What's wrong with this dude? Mysterious electricity bill and a lousy neighbor? This is just the worst. I wanted to leave, but I didn't want to go through the hassle of moving. 
So I decided to drop everything I had and decided to call the electricity company to ask them what was going on. A week later, I don't see anything wrong around here. No leakage in the wires, neither. Then why? Can't say for sure. I see. There was one weird thing. Take a look at this graph. Huh? What the? The majority of the bill is due to outdoor usage? Why? Is someone stealing our electricity or something? Wait a second. I know exactly what's going on. It's the damn neighbor! Oh, that sucks. I heard stories about this, but I never thought I'd see it in person. I couldn't believe it! You should go talk to your neighbor about this. Thank you so much for coming today. You have anything you want to ask? I do have some questions, but it's about something else. All right, call me anytime. A few minutes later... Ah, he did it again! Hey, Ugai! Call me Mr. Ugai, you idiot! I know you've been taking our electricity! It was just a little! I know you have some money left over and don't even have kids! Just be a good Samaritan, okay? You forced me to pay for a PS5 every month, you understand? I'm not some wealthy bourgeois! I have to do this or I don't earn any money! How is that any of my concern? No one in the world will ever help you! You're going to pay for all the bills you stole! Shut up! You want the money? Fine! Here, take this! Now go sell these and you'll get your money back! Ow! It stinks! This isn't some fishing game where I can sell these for free! How the hell am I supposed to make money off of these? Shut it! I said I was sorry! Now get off my property! Afterwards, I kept ringing the bell to his house, but he ignored it. I was thinking of reporting him to the police or suing him in court, but getting all the money back isn't enough. He'll just end up paying the money he had to pay in the first place. I don't care! I had to pay these either way! And now you make a big deal out of this? You're going to lose money and time to sue me! <laughs> <sighs> He's much worse than I thought, so I decided on one thing. If the law won't properly punish him, it's time for me to punish him myself! I want him to suffer! So I started brainstorming on ways to punish him my way. So I decided to refrain from calling the police, and went home. The next day... What the hell? He connected the wire again? I can't believe he did it again! But if I were to confront him again... I bet you wanna cry right now! You idiot! I even installed a camera right here! So I know exactly when you're shutting off my electricity! You installed a camera? I'm supposed to be the one to do that! I'm the victim here! Shut up! I'm going to steal your electricity! And there's nothing you can do about it! I will do this until you make more effort to protect your house! But if you do that, you lose access to your AC! You're so pathetic! <laughs> Say all you want! You're the one paying for it! Thus began the war over electricity between him and I. Every time I cut the wires, he came back to install them. It was honestly becoming a massive waste of time. There was virtually no end to this. It was like a push and pull between two massive ships. During this whole time, he benefited from stealing my electricity. I was about to give up and call the police, when suddenly, I heard something that would greatly help me in the coming days. I see. Mr. Ugai always goes fishing every third Wednesday. That's right. His car has always gone that Wednesday. Thank you so much for this information. The next Wednesday, and the day after... Ah! My fish! Hey! Oh, Hira! Oh, hey, Mr. Ugai. How dare you! I know you unplugged the cord! So what? Thanks to you, all the fish die! I know. You don't look so happy. How dare you! All my products! They're all useless! Even your tuna? I was going to make a fortune out of these! How are you going to pay for this? How would I know? I just unplugged the cord that was in my house. I did nothing wrong. I know you did it on purpose, you bastard! You're the bastard that was stealing from me! Why do I have to supply your business? Even Goku can't help you now! It's just electricity, man! Just electricity? And now I'm going to sue you for the money you stole! Wait! Not the cord! I don't have money to supply that kind of... That kind of debt! That's why I'm doing it! I even warned you! I don't have any more sympathy for you! Nothing will save you now! Hey, wait! We're not done yet! Hey, you guy! I hold you wooing all of our fish! I was about to use your fish for a very wealthy customer! Oh, that... Uh... You're, You're going, going to, to pay, pay for this! Ugai was being chased by all of his customers. 
Now he has to pay even more than just electricity bills. Now he might have to sell his house in order to pay for all of his bills. I thought this was going to be the end of my problems, but boy was I wrong. Satomi! I know you're cheating on me! What? what are you talking about? You remember how I called the worker at the electricity company, right? He told me all about where the electricity was being used. And you found out that Ugai guy was stealing our electricity, right? That's right. And the fact that you're cheating on me. What? what How can I cheat on you when I'm always in my house? Take a look at this. Oh my. You remember Bunta, right? Well, he's kind of free right now due to the whole situation around the world. So I hired him as my personal PI to check up on you. Y you're the worst! Not as bad as you. I was working my ass off while you were doing God knows what with another man! I was playing the part of a housewife! There's no mystery I can't solve. There's only one truth. And that truth points to you being a horrible wife. And how do I know all this? Well, take a look at this graph. Why do you always turn off all the electricity at this time? Th that's There's no way you suddenly want to turn off all your lights without reason. And you told me you were using the electricity regularly. So which is it, huh? P please forgive me. I have photo evidence to back myself up. I was just a little lonely and... Shut it! P please! Anything but divorce. I didn't expect it would end up like this. It was just for fun. Then go play with that guy for the rest of your life. No way. He's just a failed vocalist, so he doesn't have any money. The only reason he's with me is because I give him money that came from your pocket. Huh? You're worse than Ugai. Here, if you want the money, take this fish. Uh, ew, that stinks. I'm vacating this house for three days. When I come back, I expect all of your stuff to be packed up and ready to go. N no, I need your money to continue my relationship. Why am I supposed to fund your affair with another guy? We're getting a divorce and that's final. Let's talk this over. Needless to say, I had no intention of salvaging this relationship. I immediately filed for a divorce after I left the house. My neighbor also moved out of his house, and my wife left my house for good. The only bad thing is I feel a bit lonely by myself. Maybe someday. My name is Rin. I'm a college student who lives near my school. Just when I was thinking of how expensive an apartment costs, a friend of mine introduced a cheap apartment to me, so I signed a lease for an apartment. But when I arrived, the exterior walls were in shambles, and the walls were thin. The room was dark with little sunshine coming in. I should have previewed the apartment before moving in. The door won't close. Why? Are you the new tenant? Hi, I'm Rin. I just moved in yesterday. Nice to meet you. I'm Umino. Nice to meet you too. That door needs a bit of technique when closing. It closed! Wow, thank you very much. Mrs. Umino looks a bit flamboyant, but she is gentle-mannered. I can talk comfortably to her, so before I knew it, we became close enough to go to each other's room anytime. Mrs. Umino is here in my room today, too. This cheesecake is so good! I know, right? This cheesecake from the Cheesecake House is the best! My husband used to love this. We enjoyed eating this together. Her husband passed away three years ago, and they didn't have children, so she's living alone in the apartment now. The view from your room is so nostalgic. Nostalgic? Actually, the room where my husband and I used to live had a similar view. I remember those days. So that's why you said it's nostalgic. Right. Just by being here, I feel like I've traveled back in time. The view from my room is only buildings. It's sad. I'm so jealous. If this view is nostalgic to you, I would love to exchange rooms with you. After all, your room gets a lot of sunlight. So how about we exchange rooms? Maybe for a month? Exchange rooms? Great idea, I'm so excited. But can we do it weeks later? I still have some furniture arriving and I need to tidy this room up. Thank you so much. I'll be waiting. So, we decided to exchange rooms out of the blue. What a great feeling. It's like exchanging presents on Christmas Day. We'll be exchanging rooms three weeks later when my furniture arrives. La 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 la. I'm so excited about the room exchange. Hmm? I feel like something is missing from my clothes. What? Where's my underwear? Why? Did I forget to hang it? So I checked the washing machine and the closet. I looked everywhere, but I couldn't find it. 
I wonder why. It's strange that only my undergarments are missing. Was it blown away by the wind? Was the wind so strong that it blew them away? That could be a possibility. But if that's the case, it might be stuck on a tree branch or somewhere. It's so embarrassing. I'll pin my clothes tightly so they won't get blown away by the wind again. What? Why? My undergarments are gone again. I tightly pinned it with a clothespin so it can't be the wind. Could it be that it was stolen? <laughs> Rin in trouble is all so, so cute. You're right. Your undergarments are stolen by me. <laughs> I can't get enough of her smell. It seems that I was right that my undergarments were stolen. After that incident, my undergarments were stolen every single day. My favorite underwear and my this is it underwear, everything was stolen. My underwear shortage became as serious as global warming to me. It feels so disgusting to have that much underwear stolen. When I think about what the culprit is doing with them, I get a creepy feeling down my spine. Right, I sympathize with you. But there are no other cases of underwear thieves, so I think that the thief might be targeting you specifically. Do you have any idea who might be doing such a thing to you? No, I don't. My school is an all-girls school, so I don't have any relations with guys. Hmm. Underwear thieves are hard to find, so it's difficult to catch them. In the meantime, I'll try to make periodic rounds. Thank you very much. Then, the police from the nearby police station made periodic rounds, but the culprit was never found, and my underwear got stolen every day. I thought of hanging my clothes inside, but this apartment has high humidity. If I hang my clothes inside, my whole room might grow mold. So I gave that idea up. Ah! Culprit! Yes! I got Rin's fresh underwear today, too! This is the twelfth one. I feel like I'm wrapped up in Rin's embrace. My angel. I'll never forget that day. Hey, disgusting nerd! Give me your money! It, no, I don't want to! I'm on my way to buy a limited edition figure of my favorite star! What? <laughs> I'll put that money to better use if you give it to me. <laughs> now hand me the money. Uh, I don't have money for you. What? Don't talk back to me, disgusting nerd. Ah, please don't punch me. What are you doing? What the hell is this? Ouch! Stop bullying. Who are you? Oh no. Are you hurt? My favorite star. I fell in love that day. That's why I followed her to her house and found out where she lives. I rummaged through her garbage and learned her name. And I learned her smell through her underwear. Will you ever notice me? <laughs> Ren, did you try it? The best kept secret to arrest the culprit. I tried, but he was able to pass through the bells without making a noise. What? A ninja? The culprit appeared in the camera that I set up, but he was wearing a head mask, so his face didn't show. What? A pro wrestler? What is he? I will never forgive him for tormenting you. Actually, I consulted Anzu about this days before, and she prepared bells and cameras as a countermeasure. But I still couldn't get the culprit arrested. I don't know what to do anymore. It's bright outside. Is it morning already? I still feel sleepy, but... What? It's too bright! Rin! Huh? Anzu? Everyone? Leave the lookout to us! We'll do it 24-7 with the refreshing union members. No, if you shine this much light on me, it'll look like I'm the culprit. And you'll disturb the neighbors. Really? We're so worried about you. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, but please stop it. I'm still sleepy. Everyone is so kind, but the way they do things is so flashy. Good morning. Did you sleep well last night? Good morning. Well, I had a lot to deal with, but I'm fine. Youngsters should be in good health. Today is the day. It's the day we exchange rooms, right? But Mrs. Umino, maybe we should stop it. There might be an underwear thief here. Underwear thief? No worries. No one will want to steal a granny's underwear. Don't worry. But, but, you're pretty, Mrs. Umino. Thank you, but don't worry. More importantly, I'm so excited about the view, I can't wait. It's a nostalgic view for you, right? Okay. Please call me immediately if something happens. I was a bit worried, but since we already made a promise, we exchanged rooms. 
It was only for a short period of time, so we left the furniture as it was. I'm going to get Rin's underwear today, too. It seems like she's trying to catch me, but I'm not that easy to catch. I wonder if Mrs. Umina will be all right. She's a very charming granny, so the culprit might fall in love with her. <laughs> yes, it looks like today's underwear is very showy. Could that be her special one? I want it so bad. <laughs> Police are not around. There are no suspicious people. Off I go! Hmm. But no one would want to steal an old person's underwear, right? I got the underwear! Hooray! Wow. Is this Rin's? The fabric is different from her other ones. This is probably her special one. Enjoy this while it's fresh. It's my calling. <laughs> it smells stronger than usual. I can't get enough of it! I'm thinking too much. Perverts won't steal old people's. Right? What? <laughs> Rin forgot to lock. Does this mean that she's inviting me? Well then, I'll get in without hesitation. But perverts are different from ordinary people, so he might be doing something I can't imagine. This Rin's room? Is this my first time inside a girl's room? This is the table that Rin uses. And this is the chair that she sits on! This is Rin's toothbrush! In my mouth, too! Of course, I won't use toothpaste! <laughs> if anything happens, I'll just beat him up. Now I think the next thing in the bed. Is that Rin? She was here all along. OMG! Wait! Is this a chance to see her sleeping face? Just a little bit. Hmm. What? Huh? Who are you? That's my line. Are you sneaking a visit? <laughs> of course not, old lady. What are you saying? That's my underwear. You're totally willing. What? This is yours? Uh. What's that sound? It's coming from Mrs. Umino's room. Are you alright? Rin! Why did you come from outside? Who the hell are you? Pervert? Wait, this is a misunderstanding. I don't get what you're saying. What do you mean by a misunderstanding? You're wearing it on your head! What did you do to Mrs. Umino? Ah! Wait! I heard a scream! A pervert! He must be the culprit! No, I'm not a pervert! This underwear is a misunderstanding! What's a misunderstanding? You're a pervert no matter how you look at it! I'll risk you in the act! Oh no! This was not supposed to happen! The culprit was caught and arrested in the act with underwear on his head. His prison term is not that long, but his appearance with underwear on his head was broadcasted across the nation, so it looks like he'll have a difficult time even after his prison term is over. But I'm glad that you weren't hurt at all. But I was glad that a young man came to me. What are you saying? It's dangerous! But thanks to that incident, I found something to look forward to. Huh? Actually, because of this incident, businesses where grannies live in young women's rooms for several days and defeat the culprit became popular all over the nation. And Mrs. Umino is the pioneer of that business. She is approached by security firms. I have a feeling she won't feel lonely anymore. I'm glad it's a happy ending. Uh, no it's not. I didn't get my underwear back. Give it back! My name is Reen. I live with my husband and my daughter, who is in kindergarten. Once a year at my daughter's kindergarten, they hold a handsome daddy contest. The moms select the nominees, and then the winner is the one with the most votes. Every year, our family doesn't have anything to do with the contest, but there's one mom who always puts her life on the line to win the contest. The handsome daddy contest is coming up soon! Your husband is bound to be the winner again, Mrs. Kohira! It's already that time of the year. We're always winning, so my husband will probably be automatically entered into the contest. I'm so jealous. My husband never wins. He's like your husband's sidekick or something. Oh, you're so good at flattering me. Mrs. Kohira, Mrs. Salada, good morning. You look like you're having fun. What are you talking about? Mrs. Aizawa, good morning. It's almost the handsome daddy contest, so we were talking about that. Oh, already? I'm looking forward to it. You're looking forward to it? I'm glad. Yes, of course. We're always in the audience, though. 
Well, your husband has no chance of being nominated after all. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, pardon me. Isn't your husband driving today? No, today he has work. Oh, your husband works? I thought he was unemployed. Really? I wonder why. There are times when he's at home on the weekdays, right? And the clothes he wears are so old, like rags. Those are his work clothes. What? You call those work clothes? Poor him. He has to go to work wearing clothes like that. They're not that old. I know. His height must make his clothes look so old. That's true. What kind of work does he do wearing those clothes? It doesn't seem like a very major company. Well, it's not exactly office work. It doesn't matter. As long as he's not unemployed, we'd better take responsibility and correct the misunderstanding. Uh, yeah, but my husband is our breadwinner. He's so reliable and so cool. He's reliable? Even though he's shorter than you? Even if he's shorter, he's very strong. Oh, don't get angry. You're much stronger, so you're the breadwinner. Well, if it's a low kick, then I'm pretty sure I'm stronger. Mrs. Aizawa, you're so naive or perhaps simple-minded. You don't even realize when people are being sarcastic. What? You were being sarcastic? I didn't notice. Sorry. <laughs> First thing in the morning, and she's so annoying. That short, poor-looking man is the breadwinner? Cool? I'll give them a taste of real embarrassment. Good morning. Did something happen? What? My husband's been nominated for the contest? Good morning, Mrs. Aizawa. Congratulations. Your husband got the chance to enter the contest. Thank you very much. Somebody must have put a vote in for him. Thank you very much. Are you an idiot? What are you talking about? You still don't understand? If a dwarf like him enters the contest, he'll be so embarrassed being compared to the other dads. I'm not embarrassed at all. Huh? You're so annoying. I voted for him in order to make you feel embarrassed. What? You were just playing a prank on us? Yes, all the other contestants are all over 180 centimeters, are handsome, and wear brand suits. When my husband's added to that lineup? See? Isn't that embarrassing? True, if it were TV, he'd be the butt of the jokes. If it were me, I could never marry a short man. I'd rather stay single forever than marry a man like him. Oh, gosh, I feel sick just thinking about it. Sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. You're so horrible. My husband hasn't said that he wants to marry you anyway. No matter what you say or do, this year's winner is going to be my husband. And on top of that, I'm going to make you a laughing stock. Look forward to it. Like this, it was decided that my husband would be entered in the contest too. I couldn't forgive that they were trying to put my husband on show to laugh at him. Furthermore, my husband's not unemployed, and he's not wearing rags. He's working properly, and her daughter loves him. I have to agree that Mrs. Kohira's husband is good looking. Anybody would say the same. If you were to look only at their appearances, then I think Mr. Kohira would win. My husband, on the other hand. And that's why you've been entered in the handsome daddy contest. I don't mind. I have a day off that day anyway. It seems fun. But they're planning to make a joke out of you. There's a talent corner where you have to show off a skill. Like Miss Kunjin blah blah blah. How about we do a stand-up comedy routine together and really make them laugh? That's a bit... Rin, if you stand tall, there's no way they can embarrass us. Let's just enjoy it. You're right. Let's have fun. Meanwhile, the Kohira house... Darling, do you understand? You gotta win the contest this year as well. Otherwise, I'll lose my authority over the other moms. What? I've got to enter the contest again? When this time of year comes, you always make me diet and do weight training. I don't have any time to relax. What are you talking about? The only place that you can stand out is in the handsome daddy contest. Don't say it like that. Have you finished your weight training? I prepared a low calorie dinner today as well. Oh, come on. Chicken tender and tofu? I'll faint. Can't I have beer? Beer? Of course not. Seriously? No complaining. When your weight training is over, you'll be jogging next. I'll let you off with just 10 kilometer today. Off you go. On the day of the contest. Honey, do your best. No matter what, you're always number one. Thank you. Mrs. Aizawa, good morning. I thought you would waive your entry, but you really came. Yes, we won't run or hide. We're going to enjoy it. 
Hilarious. I'm looking forward to it. I wonder how it will turn out. There's five contestants this year. My husband's been second place every year, but this year he has his own sidekick. <laughs> let's watch from here. I don't mind. Yes, let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, it's a wonderful sight. Thanks to Miss Aizawa's ugly husband, my husband looks even more handsome than usual. Your husband does look even more handsome, doesn't he? Right? We bought another suit just for today. He looks so cool. Congratulations on winning. Oh, stop it, Mrs. Salada. We haven't heard the results yet. Help! Somebody, help! Hey, which one of you is Hiro Kohira? He bumped into me last night and ran away. I was injured, and it'll take a month to heal. Come out! Crap! It's the thug from yesterday! You can't run. I found out your name, address, and family details from the notebook you dropped yesterday. What? No way! I apologized! I'm going to throw you into the sea. Come with me! Ah! I gotta run! There's no way I'm going to the sea! Goodbye! Hey, you can't run away by yourself in a situation like this. But they're so scary! Why do you think I made you train so hard every day? If you're a man, then protect your family. Hey, pinkhead lady! You're being too noisy! Pinkhead? Don't get so worked up just because you got bumped into, you baby. Huh? You little... You've got the nerve to say that to me! Don't think I won't hurt you just because you're a woman! Yeah? Let's fight! Come at me! I won't forgive you for barging to a kindergarten like this! Rin, stop it! Huh? Who are you? How dare you threaten my wife like that? You've got guts! What? Are you the pinkhead's husband? You don't look like much of a threat. <laughs> we'll throw your entire family into the sea. Hand me the knife. I don't want to make a bigger deal out of this. Shut up! You're so noisy! Uh, uh, ow! Let go of my head! You'll break it! Huh? He's so strong! So cool! This all began when Mrs. Kohira's husband was jogging the night before the contest. Well, he said he was jogging and went out to drink beer. On his way home, he bumped shoulders with a thug he passed on the street. But the thugs were taken out within seconds by my husband. The case is closed. Or so we thought, but there was somebody who didn't like my husband taking the spotlight. Where are the trespassers? Police officer! You've got to help us! Help! That short man and those thugs are fighting! Fighting? Yes! Those thugs and that unemployed dwarf were fighting! They were even waving a knife around! It's not a fight! No matter how you look at it, this thug is to blame. Mrs. Aizawa, just because you want to win the contest doesn't mean you should intentionally call some thugs to come fight! What? Of course we haven't done that! Stop with the accusations! Officer, this woman has pink hair! I'm sure she's friends with those thugs! Oh, I'm so scared! Mrs. Kohira, what are you saying? So what's going on here? Is it a fight? We got a call saying that some thugs were trespassing. Hey, lend me some handcuffs. Huh? I'm telling you, he's going to try and run away. So give me some cuffs. I can't do that. I can't give a citizen my handcuffs. Then look at this. Crap! Pardon me, Inspector. What? Inspector? I'm off today, so I'll leave the rest to you. Yes, of course. Leave it to us. What? Your husband's a detective? Yes, he's part of the first detective division. I thought it was best I didn't say anything. What? He's really cool! Huh? He took the dog down in moments! He's so cool! I've only seen that sort of thing on TV! Right, right. I fell in love with him because of that. But why is he always wearing those clothes? They're so old and dirty. They're not old and dirty, but he wears plain clothes in order to not stand out. Detectives have a lot of reasons. Oh, that's why. But he was so cool. I'm so sorry. For everything. I won't talk badly about his appearance ever again. I'm not bothered at all. Let's continue the contest. No, I think we'll have to cancel. The contest was cancelled, but a few days later, the results were posted on the news board. My husband had won. On top of that, when my husband next took my daughter to kindergarten, he became really popular with the other moms. Huh? Am I worried about him cheating? No! No way! There's no way! If he ever did something like that, I will really send him flying. My name is Hiroshi. I started my business as a delivery man when I was young, and now I'm a full-fledged businessman who runs three companies. This is Aika, my fiance. We're on our way to see our new house where we'll live together. Oh, and before I go any further, 
We're not going to cheat. We can finally live together, right? That's right. Oh, I never thought I'd see the day when I get married. Let's make lots of happy memories in our new home. Of course. <laughs> I'm glad you're with me. Huh? Uh. Oops, sorry. Is that a man on the ground? Oh, no. I looked in the direction Ika pointed and saw an old lady crouched on the ground. Driver, pull over! Are you okay? Oh, yes, I'm fine. I just stepped on a pebble. I'm old, so I fell down. Oh, my God. We need an ambulance immediately. That's not necessary. I fell slowly, so I wasn't hurt. Is that so? Is everything all right? I'm a little worried about her, so I'm going to take her home. You go ahead and take a look at the house. Okay. And with that, I send Aika off. There's no need to rush. If you have pain anywhere, I'll take you to the hospital. <laughs> I have a pain in my heart from the embarrassment. Wow. What do you think? After all, it's the top floor of a 60-story building. The view is great and the night view is fantastic. And it's fully secured. The kitchen countertops are marble. It fits your beauty perfectly. It's more than I imagined. I definitely want to live here. I thought so. I'm glad you like it. So how soon can your husband get here? He says he's already on his way. I sent the old lady safely home and arrived at the apartment where Aika was. Wow, it's amazing. Right? Let's choose this place. Okay. Well, sir, we choose this place. Nope. Huh? I don't know what you're saying. What, do I have to tell you some secret password or something? I'll tell you something you probably don't understand, but the rent here is 800,000 yen, okay? Yeah. Oh, I don't think you're getting this, but it's not a yearly thing. It's monthly, okay? Yeah. You'll blow all your savings. Sorry, but this is the kind of apartment where real rich people live. I don't think anyone in those ragged clothes could afford the rent here. What? These are the clothes Ika gave me when we were in school. Oh, I'm sorry. You might as well buy new clothes before you try to rent a condo. Come on! You're going to get the interior dirty, so get out of here! Are you serious? Hiroshi, it's okay. I feel bad. Sorry to bother you. Aika! What the heck is that? That salesman over there is crazy! Even Gandhi would kick his ass! You're right. What's with that attitude? I can't believe him. I'm going to go complain to the company. No, you don't want to have to go through all that trouble. I don't want to rent there anymore. Let's look for another place. But you liked it. I'm sorry. We were feeling happy and then... And then this happened. It's not your fault. I was actually more happy to hear you say something back about the clothes. <laughs> you bought these clothes for me when I decided to start my own business. Since then, I've decided that I'm going to wear them on important occasions. Oh, I love you. I love you too. In the midst of this, I had a secret plan in mind. Mr. Tarokoro? Mr. Hiroshi, it's been a while. What can I do for you today? Please, return the favor from that day. I've been waiting for this day to come. Mr. Tadakoro is the head of the real estate company where that salesperson works. This happened a few years ago. I used to do business with Mr. Tadakoro at my company. The contract expired amicably, and I was talking about switching to a cheaper company next time. Mr. Hiroshi, please, will you re-sign with us? Well, I'd really like to, but we're also pretty overloaded. I'm sorry. Please! My wife has been diagnosed with an intractable disease, and I really need the money! What? Your wife? Is it really that bad? Unfortunately, I've tried everything to increase my profits, but now I have no choice but to rely on you! Oh no, I didn't know that was going on. I spent the whole night thinking about it. If I continue to do business with Mr. Tadokoro, I may end up losing money next year. But if I abandon Mr. Tadokoro right here, it means I'm leaving his wife to die. And then... Mr. Tadokoro, I'm so sorry. Well, I guess you can't. Not at all. I wasn't thinking clearly yesterday. I should have just answered that I'll renew the contract with you without a second thought. I'm sorry I hesitated. So that means... Let's do it. I'll take care of the loss. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. So I decided to continue the contract with Mr. Tadokoro over the strong objections of the shareholders. But his wife, who was given three months to live, died a year and a half later. Since then, Mr. Tadokoro has become a completely different person. The world is all about money. What kind of a business owner are you if you can't even make money? How dare you call yourself the head of the family? After all, the world is all about survival of the fittest. If you don't earn it, there's only death. If you feel bad about it, Hate yourself for not having any money! Mr. Tadokoro worked like a demon and quickly grew the company. 
he was a man who would go to any lengths for money, and those who could not withstand the storm he created, his subordinates and the companies he was associated with, were mercilessly dumped from the market. Since then, although there was a connection between the companies, I remained distant from Mr. Tadakoro himself. I'm sorry to hear about your wife. Nothing for you to worry about. I couldn't forgive myself for not being able to save Chieko. I was just upset with my own uselessness. Even now, every time I stare at her picture, I feel as if Chieko is looking at me with pitying, disdainful eyes. But this is not what she wanted for the rest of our lives. Running a business is too much for me. Your employees must have grown up watching your back. You gave my wife her time, however briefly. She said before she died that she was happy with her life. This company is a monster of rage that grew up inside me. Please, help me end this horrifying monster. This is a severance package. Please, leave the rest to me and live out your life peacefully in the house where you lived with Chieko. After that... I mean, it's a real bummer that they're all so poor. Good morning. Huh? New guy? From today on, I'm your boss, you idiot. What? I don't know what you're talking about. I bought this company and this whole building. You're kidding! Hold on, you're... As I recall, you finally remember. You mocked me so much back then. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I didn't know you were rich! I went through every single one of your clients you had contact with. You got a big reputation for changing your attitude based on how people look, coming on too strong, making fun of them, and having a high-pitched voice. What? Please don't get mad at me! I'll fix it from now on! Our company changed its policy. You'll receive a pay cut and special training. Special training? I don't want to! Then quit! No, I'll do it! I'll do it! Thus, the salesman in question was given a substantial pay cut and sent off to a special training camp. Your voice is too quiet! Yes, sir! Your voice is too high! Yes, sir! And he resigned within three days. Meanwhile, Aika and I moved into the top floor of a townhouse now owned by my company. I knew this place was the best! Yeah! There were some bad memories here, but you painted over them for me. Let's make a lot more memories. Okay. And they lived happily ever after. Probably. My name is Hiroshi. I was investing as a student, and by the time I was in my 30s, I was able to support my wife and children on stock dividends and rental income alone. However, my wife told me that it wasn't good for my child's education to have his father at home 24-7, so I always went out to do some kind of work. And now, I'm working as a temp at Abigame, a medium-sized game company. Chief, the main character design is almost done. Can you take a look? Sure, let's see. What the heck is this? What do you think? Is it good? The first two are good, but all the rest are bad. What? I painted it really nicely, though. What's wrong? Hiroshi, the chief is harassing me. Chief, please don't harass Miss Kanzaki. You idiot. There can't be any foreign warriors. Oh. But now is the era of diversity. What we're building here is the Sengoku period. You're too old-fashioned. I think it's nice to have a variety of characters. Hiroshi, don't you think so too? It's just a pain for you to draw, isn't it? You got me. You're right. It's hard work creating 10 or 20 faces with just Japanese people. From a distance, it's hard to tell them apart. Think about the world view. <laughs> what an evil company. I'm going to sue. Put yourself in my shoes of having to deal with evil employees. It's not easy being a full-time employee. Yeah, it's like we sold our souls to the company. PS4 is totally going downhill, and I'm worried about the future. I mean, even when we were successful, people were always saying that we were just second best or a ripoff of some other company. There's a limit to how much we can take advantage of a trend. The problem with our people is that they do things too slowly. Right, Mr. Mushroom Head? Who's Mr. Mushroom Head? Just so you know, it ain't my fault that the release is postponed. I just find and report any remaining bugs. I'm not the one bugging it. As you can see, Abigame was approaching a decline, both in terms of sales and human resources. So the president of Abigame took a bold step one day. As you all know, our company's sales have been declining year after year, partly due to the economy. So from now on, I would like to boldly change our policy to stop chasing trends and rather create groundbreaking games. Therefore, if you come up with even the slightest interesting idea, please bring it up to the administration. President, I just came up with one right now! You're a temp, so you're not allowed to attend the project meetings. That's what's wrong here! So I started developing a new game on my own, in between work. Huh? What are you making, Hiroshi? I'm making a new product. 
The president said the temp isn't allowed to interfere, so I'm trying to make a real one to show him. Hey, your job is programming, right? I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. Rather, I've been forced to spend a month doing things I could have done in a week before. I thought I was absolutely inefficient, but the chief told me to not cut corners. I see. The point is, there's a way to handle it that only an expert would understand. Anyway, can you do a little playtest for me? Looks really boring. No, it's not. Is this a game for girls? It might look that way, but it really isn't. I started making Pinky Prima, a game where the player becomes a poor ballerina and succeeds. As for the images, I purposely used pixel art. This is an action RPG? You use ballet tricks to jump and step on your enemies? No. Her name's Rita White, a ballet girl with no relatives. Rita's story begins with a pair of point shoes left behind by her mother. There's full voice in here. I got my wife to put this in. Oh, I knew I heard that voice before! The goal of the game is for players to grow up with Rita and win the title of Prima on the big stage, Swan Lake. It's a girl's game, right? It's not. The genre is dark fantasy. Seriously? At the start of the game, players can choose one of three skills. Nail, Razor, Blade, or Charm. Nail? Razor Blade? There are some powerful rivals in the ballet troupe that no amount of practice can compete with. You can choose to hurt Prima and drag her down, or you can seduce the chairperson and force them to switch. See? I told you it wasn't a girl's game. If you use dark skills, Rita will get the return blood she deserves. The skills that can be learned will become more powerful depending on the amount of returned blood she's been exposed to. Sulfuric Acid, Frenzy, Deception, Shotgun, Using every trick in the book, Rita moves closer to Prima's position. This is how Rita embodies the curse of the demon Rotwald herself. Maybe some of the core audience will like it. You can't try to please everyone. They'll just end up saying it's a duplicate of something else anyway. I then continued to secretly develop Pinky Prima. Then one day, a powerful person came into Abigame. Well, we have a new addition to our company. Mr. Shiratori used to be a chief director at a major game company. Nice to meet you! Wow! We've been waiting for you! Finally! Someone who knows what they're talking about! This will free me from the chief's stubbornness! Don't be shy just because you're new! Do your job the way you see fit! Alright! The development of Pinky Prima was beginning to take shape, so I decided to take the opportunity to ask the new director for his perspective. Mr. Shiratori, I've been working on this game during my breaks, and I'm wondering if we could officially submit it as a project. You're a temp, right? Attempts should just do what they're told! I know that, but the president doesn't seem to have enough ideas, so I thought I'd see if I could be of any help. Well, I'll take a look at it. As the accumulated curse grows, Rita is tormented by terrible hallucinations and forced to fight demons. I see. More encounters. Okay. The skills that can be learned are also darker and more powerful. Magic, demon contracts, vampires, the dark power makes the audience more attracted to Rita's dance. Wow! This is amazing! Let's give this a serious makeover and put it on the market! Really? Yes! The graphics should be full CG with super high resolution, not these pixelated pictures. Let's make sure the NPCs she meets along the way can attack her, not just her rivals. But if we do that, the outsourcing cost will be a big problem. You're an amateur, so don't you talk big to me. Um, uh, amateur? President? We've got a great project! Oh, so soon? This is a project that our temp guy came up with, but if you do it this way, it would be a really great game. I see. If you say so, it must be true. I know the title is Pinky Prima, but that's lame. So let's do this! Swan Lake, The Devil's Temptation. Sounds even more unsellable. I know a few graphic designers, so all we need to do is get a bank loan, commit, brush up, launch, and we'll have a V-shaped recovery! Great. I'll leave it to you. Wait a minute. The greatest advantage of Pinky Prima is, bluntly, its low production cost. It will never be profitable, no matter how much you spend. Oh man. This is why I don't like people who are too old to be tense. How old are you? I'm just barely in my 40s. You're turning 50 this year? That's right. If you're 50 years old and doing temp work, you're just like any idiot who can stand up and walk around. What did you say? I'm still a very experienced temp. A very experienced temp. Let me tell you frankly, since I'm in, I think these individuals are a waste of money. If it were me, I could do the work of a hundred of you all by myself. What do you think, President? Yeah, you're right. What? What are you saying? 
What about the pinky prima I made? The idea belongs to the company. President, instead of wasting money on temps, give me an extra bonus. That depends on the results. Fine, so you two are leaving me out? Well then, it's I who would say no to such a company. Adios! How are you gonna quit your job at your age and find a new one? It's okay, my daughter is graduating from college and I'm going to retire soon. I wish I could quit my job like that. He's a bad example. Then, a few years later, finally, Abigame released Swan Lake, and the dark and elegant concept already attracted a lot of reservations. Well, now that the reviews are starting to come in, let's see what people are saying. <laughs> I don't have enough oxygen! What's wrong? Uh, nothing! What the heck is this? What's wrong? Look at this. Most of the user reviews for Swan Lake have only one star. What?! Apparently, Swan Lake, created by Abigame with some random adaptation of my idea, is beautiful in terms of graphics, but the essential game part is completely uninteresting. Hmm... Despite the complexity of the system, there is practically only one possible conquering route. The dance part is too simple, and the city is too big and exhausting to move around. That's why we set up hallucination encounters with demons, to keep users occupied! But it also says this! It's annoying how the hallucination makes you stop every time you move! They don't understand anything! Hallucinations interfere with daily life inevitably! It's that reality that makes it so immersive! What's the point of experiencing real-life stress in a game? Oh my god, it's a new release, but they're already selling it at a discount! Its retail price is 7,000 yen, but it's already at 2,300 yen on Mercury! Some people are selling it for 1,500 yen! For what it's worth, the project was bad! I should never have listened to that old temp's fantasies! On the contrary, I've been developing my own Pinky Prima since I left the company. I had to make some changes to the setting and system due to copyright issues, but when I started selling the game on Steam, it became a big hit, with many popular VTubers playing it. Hiroshi! Who's this? It's Shiratori. Please, make me your apprentice! Huh? Shiratori? Oh! You're the princess who got turned into a swan by Rotwald's curse! No, I'm not! I'm Shiratori! I've been working 18 hours a day at Abigame for the past three years! Just when I thought I was finally going to be rewarded for this, they not only cut my bonus, but my base salary as well! I'm a wreck, both physically and mentally! And? Why is Pinky Prima selling so well, and Swan Lake the Devil's Temptation is it? Well, of course. That's because it's only designed for online play. Really? That's right. The greatest secret of the Pinky Prima was the game between living people. They polish their skills, create factions, kick rivals off without anyone knowing, the graphics are crappy, but no matter how many times you play it exactly the same, you never get the same result. That kind of interesting quality is what the game is all about. You stole the company's idea, so you should pay the copyright fee! If you want to sue, sue. I don't think there's enough similarity to be recognized as plagiarism. This is how I got a large profit in exchange for my severance pay. Mr. Swan's reputation dropped vertically after he served as the director of the lousy game Swan Lake. He's now wandering the streets with his now bankrupt Abigame, unable to get hired anywhere. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye!